China's new J-35 stealth jet has sparked attention worldwide, not just for its futuristic design, but for what it represents, a direct competitor in the race for advanced aviation. With radar signatures approaching that of America's F-22 and performance pushing beyond the F-35 in certain areas, it challenges long-held assumptions about who leads in next-generation technology. In this video, we'll explore how stealth is China's new J-35 fighter. Stealth is the heart of any fifth-generation aircraft, and the J-35 has been designed from the ground up with radar evasion in mind. The aircraft's radar cross-section is estimated at 0.01 square meters, a level close to the US F-22 Raptor and significantly smaller than conventional fighters. While that figure is still larger than the F-35 sub, 0.005 square meters, it places the J-35 among the most radar-resistant jets currently being developed. Design choices reinforce this. The fuselage features smooth, blended lines, forward canted tail fins, and jagged sawtooth panel edges, all intended to scatter incoming radar signals. Importantly, weapons can be carried internally, reducing reflections that external hardpoints would otherwise generate. These features align with lessons seen on earlier U.S. designs, indicating China has carefully studied what works in lowering detection probability. Yet radar is only one spectrum of stealth. Where the J-35 shows compromise is its infrared profile. Powered by twin WS-19 engines, the aircraft naturally produces more heat than the single-engine F-35. Although serrated exhaust nozzles help to reduce thermal output, the dual-engine setup inevitably leaves a larger infrared trail. Modern infrared search and track IRSD, systems, widely used, could exploit this to detect the aircraft from long ranges even when radar fails to register it. Another element is radar-absorbent material, or RAM coating. The United States has invested decades into creating advanced electromagnetic emission control systems and highly durable coatings for its stealth fleet. By contrast, the precise chemical makeup of China's coatings is closely guarded and less proven in operational settings. Analysts believe these coatings are improving rapidly, but still lag slightly behind the materials on the F-35. That difference may seem subtle, but even small advantages in multi-spectrum stealth can determine survivability in high-intensity environments. The bottom line is this. The J-35's radar signature is impressively low and its design cleverly optimized, but when factoring in thermal output and uncertain material science, it falls short of the comprehensive stealth profile offered by American counterparts. Beyond stealth, performance defines how an aircraft can be used in real operations. The J-35 demonstrates a clear emphasis on speed and agility, boasting a top speed of Mach 2.2. This surpasses the F-35's Mach 1.6, making it one of the fastest fifth-generation designs to date. High-speed benefits interception rolls, allowing the aircraft to quickly cover ground and reposition against fast-moving targets. However, this comes at a cost, combat radius. The J-35's range is reported at 1,200 to 1,500 kilometers, considerably less than the F-35 as 2,200 kilometers. In practice, that difference means the F-35 can operate farther from base without support from aerial refueling. For missions requiring deep penetration or extended patrols, the American jet offers greater endurance, while the J-35 is more regionally focused. Power and efficiency are only part of the story. The aircraft's avionics tell another. The J-35 is equipped with a gallium nitride gone, based ASA radar, providing strong detection capability and resistance to jamming. Electro-optical sensors supplement this, giving pilots a comprehensive view of the surrounding airspace. Yet, the system's level of integration is less advanced than that of the F-35, which fuses radar, infrared, and electronic warfare data into a single display. The American Jet's Distributed Aperture System DS, and helmet-mounted display, HMDS, create what some pilots describe as a see-through aircraft, granting full situational awareness. The J-35, while advanced, still relies more on conventional cockpit layouts. Weapons integration further highlights this philosophy. 
The J-35 can carry the PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile and PL-10 short-range missile in its internal base, maintaining stealth in combat. External hardpoints are available when stealth is less of a priority, allowing larger payloads at the cost of radar visibility. By comparison, the F-35 offers a broader catalog of ordnance, including precision-guided bombs and air-to-air -air missiles, plus the flexibility of stealth or beast mode configurations. These choices reveal China's priorities. The J-35 emphasizes speed and missile capability, likely to perform as a high-performance interceptor or fleet defender. The F-35 emphasizes range, data fusion, and mission versatility. Neither design is inherently superior across all measures. They serve different strategies. The implications of the J-35 extend beyond its technical features. Its arrival signals a new phase in the distribution of advanced aviation technology. According to multiple reports, the aircraft has entered low-rate production and has been spotted with insignia linked to China's naval aviation branch, suggesting it will be deployed on modern aircraft carriers. Carrier-based stealth significantly enhances power projection, enabling aircraft to launch from sea platforms rather than fixed bases, a leap that few nations have achieved. One of the J-35's most notable features is cost. Analysts believe it will be priced considerably lower than the American F-35. Lower cost creates export opportunities. While U.S. fighters are often restricted to select allies, the J-35 could find markets in countries seeking an affordable fifth-generation option. Nations like Pakistan and Iran have been cited as potential customers, though official confirmations are lacking. Interestingly, Pakistan's defense ministry has denied signing a deal, despite some sources continuing to suggest future interest. If exports occur, they could reshape regional balances. A country fielding dozens of J-35S would gain access to radar-resistant, high-performance aircraft at a fraction of Western costs. Even if each jet is slightly less advanced than the F-35, sheer numbers and affordability would make them valuable additions to national fleets. It is not about one-to-one -one superiority. It is about widening access to stealth technology that was once exclusive to the United States. The J-35 also highlights a broader industrial achievement. Developing indigenous engines like the WS-19, refining stealth materials, and producing complex avionics showcase China's growing aerospace maturity. Whether or not the aircraft equals U.S. benchmarks, it represents technological independence, reducing reliance on foreign suppliers and establishing China as a long-term competitor in the aerospace market. Looking globally, the J-35 underscores a shift. Advanced aviation is no longer the domain of a single nation or alliance. The United States retains an advantage in integration and multi-spectrum stealth, but China's ability to field an operational stealth fighter that is cheaper, faster, and adaptable marks a turning point. The significance lies less in whether it beats the F-35 in every metric and more in the fact that it exists, is deployable, and may soon be widely accessible. The J-35 may not surpass the F-35 in every category, but its emergence shows how quickly China is advancing in aviation technology. With impressive stealth shaping, high speed, and potential for wider adoption, it stands as more than just a new jet. It's a symbol of changing dynamics in the global aerospace arena. What matters most is not only how stealthy or fast it is, but how it will be used, produced, and integrated into future strategies. Whether it becomes a true rival or a cost-effective alternative, the J-35 is shaping tomorrow's competition in the skies. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.